Dr. Mark Gannon, the director of the Low Vision Institute in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Let's talk about cataracts. Cataracts are a normal part of the aging process that occurs in almost all of us. Inside of the eye, there's a lens. We call it the crystalline lens. It's located just behind the pupil and, uh, and behind the iris in the eye, toward the front of the eye itself. This lens is responsible for changing focus in the eye and for providing most of the focal power that the eye itself actually has when it tries to change in focusing from far to near point objects. At birth, the lens itself is very clear and very flexible. It's predominantly made of water. But as we get older, the lens begins to lose its water content and become a little thicker and stiffer. In most of us, by the time we're around age 40, the lens has become so thick and stiff that it doesn't have adequate focusing power for near. And that's when most of us start holding things a little further away as our arms get shorter and we require reading glasses or bifocals to compensate. That thickening process continues. And when we reach around age 50 or so, the lens itself chemically changes in its structure and it becomes a little yellowish brown in color. We call that a brunescence. When that brunescence occurs, the amount of light coming to the retina is slightly diminished. If the progression occurs beyond that point and the lens thickens to where little to no light passes through it, that becomes a cataract. So a mature cataract is actually a thickening of the lens inside the eye. It's not a growth or a veil over the front of the eye, which is often commonly misconceived as being a cataract. When patients have cataracts and you look at them, you still see the entire eye and the iris, the colored part, but the pupil itself may appear to be white because light isn't passing through it, but rather being reflected off of it. And that sometimes gives us the, the sensation of a veil growing over the eye. And, and it's described that way frequently by patients who have it but in fact it occurs internally. When we have a cataract, we correct it by removing the lens from the eye and replacing it now with an artificial lens. We've gotten very good at this in the last several years to the point where the procedure can be done in a matter of a few minutes and it can be done as an outpatient procedure. The patient typically goes in before breakfast and by lunchtime they're at home and the next day they're typically seeing as compared to the way we used to do it with sandbags and keeping the patient in a hospital for a week without even permitting them to move their head. So it's, it's now become a much more common procedure and one that we're far better at doing because it's, it's far more effective in the way that it, it's being able to uh, be carried out. So again, if you have cataracts, it's not anything to be overly concerned about. Again, you want to watch it on a regular basis. And when the cataracts get to the point where they're affecting your lifestyle, when you're not doing the things you enjoy doing because of them, then we consider them to be mature and they should be taken out. As long as you're doing the things you enjoy doing, it's not necessary to remove them because they're of no threat. But if they get to the point where you're uncomfortable, it's definitely advisable to have them removed and, and restore uh, your full function and field of vision. So once again, there, there is new hope in sight, and I thank you very kindly.